A-level day for me was pretty spectacular um, in the fact that I completely flunked everything. So when all everybody else in my class was excited with their three A's and they were going out celebrating that evening and they were off to Oxford or Cambridge, um, I got two U's and an E. Um, and that was it really, you know, that was sort of the, uh, the end of my academical period. I think there's, there's far too much pressure these days on um, people getting the right results to go to the right university they want to go to. Um, you know, it's not the be and end all the result. I mean, it's great if you want to be, you know, an accountant or a doctor or something specific where you have to go to university. But if, you know, I, I, I mean, I said to you before, I interview so many people and they give me the CVs with the letters on and, and they got this grade, that grade, went to university. I'm not interested in that. I just want to speak to the person. Uh, and more often than not, in my business, it's the experience that they've had. Um, you know, if they went to Oxford and got three A's and, and studied uh, English, politics, philosophy, that's not going to take my box or float my boat. I find it quite boring, to be honest. So, you know, speaking to people with the personalities is, is far more interesting than the grades. Results Day is it's almost a dying trend. So there's a, there's a really interesting guy in Manchester called Stephen Bartlett. And he does these podcasts. And quite recently he's been saying things like marriage is sort of a past thing, you know, going to university, sort of a past thing. All those things where you expect expected to go to university, get married, have kids. They're a little bit old fashioned, that, that sort of school of thought these days. Um, so, you know, thinking outside the box, if, if you don't want to go to university and your parents are giving you the pressure to go to university, rebel. We take a load of interns on at uh, Warehouse Project and Part Life and they certainly, they get a feel of whether they enjoy it or not. Um, I don't think it's essential. I think at the age of 18, you kind of know what you want to do. You've certainly got a feeling for it. Um, it might not necessarily be what you go end up doing. I wanted to play for Manchester United, but I was rubbish at football, so I had to do something else. But I think at that age, you know where your path lies. Um, and I would certainly encourage people to, you know, maybe take an internship on or go and find out a little bit more about it, do some digging. Um, the interns that we take on aren't the people that send an email with the, you know, boring, I've done this, I've done that, and I'm interested in this, that, and the other. It's people that, do something slightly different, like turn up at the office and one guy refused to leave until I spoke to him. You know, things like that, you know, they're eye-openers. Um, job applications, we get a lot of people that design things, um, you know, warehouse project designs or part life designs. They're the interesting ones. Some people absolutely nail it. Um, so I did something recently with Berry College some of the students there, I would have been proud to actually put it out and say this is our warehouse project season flyer. They were that good. Um, that's that's the most interesting. Some some of them are actually awful, but yeah, you know they just get binned. With a gap year, I actually um, I really miss not having a gap. I mean, obviously, I didn't go to university. But I think I should have, before I started working, uh, my first job was in a clothes shop, but before I started working, I wish I'd taken a gap year out just to travel and relax and, and to see other things that are going on and maybe get new interests. And so I certainly, I would suggest you take a gap year before university. In the middle doesn't make any sense in the slightest to me. And I think if you're doing it at the end of the university, you're sort of missing, you're on a roll then, you know, you've just got your degree or whatever, and that's the time to hit your career running. I think to succeed, um, the most important thing is make sure you go to every warehouse project possible and part life as well. That would be my number one advice. Number two advice, I don't think, I wouldn't take it too seriously to be honest. Um, you know, I, see, I do see, obviously, 
with warehouse projects, I see the new freshers coming in every year, uh, not coming to warehouse, but I see them enter Manchester. And sometimes you can just tell they're taking it far too seriously. Just chill out a little bit. And I would say try and enjoy those three years. You know, for most people, it's the first three years away from your parents. Um, and try and just experience life a little bit rather than just getting knuckled down to books. Thank <laughs> you.